on this globe-hopping lifestyles, get ready to vacation with all the stars. Join Anita Baker and her husband in magical Milan and discover Italy's answer to them all. Their adventure continues to majestic Lake Como, where the singing sensation casts off to seek and enjoy the world's most romantic restaurant. The beat is on in the Florida paradise that went from Shuffleboard Central to Party Town USA, Miami, through the eyes of our very own Nikki Taylor. Viva Las Vegas! Join the high rollers at the ultimate casino super suites. So deluxe and so exclusive, they're not for rent at any price. A gentle journey back in time on Blossom Star by Ian Bialik's runaway to Ireland. Unchanged in centuries, the land of leprechauns and limericks opens its arms to the visitor from Hollywood and rolls out a welcome mat that really is 40 shades of green. Fun in the sun with Caribbean castaway Richard Grieco on Sunsplash St. Lucia. Unwind with the Hollywood hunk and discover the laid-back island way to beat the heat. A super resort on the Mexican Riviera plays host to a party for a great cause. Get in on the joke as the stars bid at auction for a hot celebrity date. Say aloha to the pineapple paradise of Maui. The deluxe hideaway on Hawaii's second largest island welcomes a Hollywood heartthrob and his family. Get ready to catch the wave as Joey Lawrence and the gang set new standards of sailing on the vacation of a lifetime. Plus, the newest pride of Paris, a swanky hotel where guests are treated like royalty. Explore the VIP suites that cost a fortune to furnish and discover why gourmets from the four corners of the earth are booking reservations at the top of the town. Hi, I'm Sherry Belafonte in Los Angeles. Welcome to a very special lifestyles. Our focus this week is the very best in travel. On our first adventure, Robin has the story of a singing sensation who found a second home in one of the world's most romantic cities. Milan opened its arms to the American singing sensation who took time out to explore the ancient city with husband Walter. The couple headquartered at the Four Seasons Hotel in the heart of the shopping district. Lovingly refurbished from a 14th century monastery, the landmark enchants all who enter its doors. Walking into the hotel, you see a modern Italy, and you feel the history of Italy is here as well. They've decided to incorporate modern with ancient, and I think that's a really cool combination. I feel as though I'm in, a, in someone's home as opposed to a hotel room. I can see antiques in this room um, that have been covered beautifully, and they invite you to sit down. They don't invite you to take a picture of them. This is the first um, rendezvous that my husband and I have had uh, since our children were born. So whereas we've been out to wonderful restaurants and had wonderful shopping, we basically kind of stayed in quite a bit. Ah, but when in Milan, do as the Milanese do. Anita and Walter soon found the magic of the city on the streets, in its people, and especially in the architecture that has to be seen to be believed. It's incredible. I try to not act like a tourist and walk around with my mouth hanging open, but it's, it's very hard. <laughs> Milan's sprawling pedestrian shopping district isn't your average stateside mall. The Galleria was totally incredible. There are beautiful shops and little cafes, all encompassed in an incredibly open, yet enclosed space. As the evening approached, we decided we'd like to just go to a casual cafe to have some food, and we went to uh, Biches. The food was incredible. I had samplings of everything that I could have during the four-course meal, which, by the way, is quite normal in Italy. It was just a great, great place. An hour's drive north is Lake Como at the foothill of the Alps. There, they checked into the region's famed resort, a world's best, Villa d'Este. 
took me back to an age of grandeur and luxury that I've only seen in the old movies. Villa Desti has a reputation for decadence and just unashamed and unabashed luxury and fun. It has just a grand, grand historic uh, reputation of romance. Thanks to the area's unique geography, even going for lunch can be a nautical adventure. We took a beautiful, beautiful boat ride from uh, Villa d'Este into the arms of the Swiss Alps. Our destination was lunch at a restaurant that's been serving since 1948. And the only way that you can reach uh, this restaurant is by boat because it is an island. The lunch was not to be believed. Sitting in the arms of the mountains that way with, with very humble food that had been elevated to such a spectacular level, uh, it was just awe-inspiring for us, as well as very, very romantic. Back on the mainland, the couple took in the tiny hillside village of Bellagio, where cute meets quaint. To celebrate a triumphant concert and a stolen runaway, their last night was devoted to putting on the Ritz, formal dinner at the elegant Villa d'Este. There is pride in the dining room that is inexplicable. There is also the fact that you must dress for dinner. There is just a code at Villa d'Este of elegance, bar none. The toast was to my favorite singer, Anita Baker, for making time for La Dolce Vida in the world's most romantic country. Florida's fun city. Explore Miami's deco delights with supermodel Nikki Taylor. Plus, Las Vegas through the eyes of a high roller. Check into the casino's ultimate super suites. Then, Get wet and wild at a Hawaiian super resort with Blossom star Joey Lawrence. Please pass the all fruit. Polan or all fruit is real fruit, sweetened only with fruit juice. Would you please pass the jelly? You'll call it delicious, you'll call it remarkable, but please don't dare call it jelly. This is like home for us. The Chris Marnie's Owner's Mario's Cafe. Every little detail makes this the best. The best coffee beans, the best pastries, even the best way to get out coffee stains. If we do things right the first time, we have more time to do the fun stuff. Don't just wash, treat, and wash with Liquid Tide. Build in pre-treat ingredients, break up stains. The wash does the rest. Pre-treat to help get out most tough stains. Tide works for us, and uh, if something's working, why change it? If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide. Oh, this is a place, if I didn't own it, I'd definitely come here. You know, these Tostitos are baked. Get out of here. Really? But so tasty. Oh, I had this party, and I told everyone that baked Tostitos are low in fat, but nobody believed me. Wow. <laughs> you baked Tostitos have only one gram of fat per serving, but they don't taste it. These are baked? Mm -hmm. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here. Really, they're baked? No, really. Get out of here. <laughs> you baked Tostitos, tortilla chips, and fat-free salsa. Prepare the party. Pork chops, tough or dry. Then get Shake and Bake. Chops are always plump and juicy, the way your family thinks they should be. It's simple. They want Shake and Bake. Oh, look at the sunset. It's like being in the islands. So is this. Hmm? Kahlua Cafe from General Foods International Coffees. Mmm, delicious. What's this flavor? Kahlua. Imagining tropical breezes. And endless beaches. The only after-dinner coffee with the flavor of real Kahlua. It makes me want to be... Where? Right here, right now. Celebrate the moments of your life. Kahlua Cafe. You know, there's nothing more fun than a vacation at sea. You can lounge in the fresh air, visit romantic ports, enjoy fine dining, great shows, pampered service. I love it here. There's so much to do. Hi, Kathy. Hi, a three, four, or seven-day vacation on Carnival, the most popular cruise line in the world. I love this ship! Hi, I'm Nikki.
Nikki Taylor, and this is Miami. Do you want to feel the heat? Come on, I'll take you there. Fun Central is Miami's South Beach section. A deco dream where the cool crowd hangs out Euro-style and parties till dawn. The associate publisher of Ocean Drive magazine knows why everyone loves South Florida. What makes Miami so hot? <laughs> Obviously the weather. You also have people from all over the world flocking here. You have people from Paris, Milan, from 7th Avenue, all over the world. And uh, it creates a strong energy. Bronze spots, volleyball, rollerblades, great music. That's what makes Miami sizzle. On a six mile stretch of golden sand, party people kick back, get tan, and play in the sunshine. Even with temperatures in the 90s, there's no need to blow your top when you can just lose it instead. For locals and visitors alike, going topless gives a whole new leash on life. Along Shoreline Drive, the cool way to get around is by putting your best foot forward. Looking cool in Miami means being dressed to chill. The downtown boutiques have all the hottest fashions. There's so many famous names to choose from. So South Beach style is designer mix and match. And with no rules to what to wear, dressing up is as easy as one, two, three. Looking good has been the rule since Miami was transformed during its 80s makeover. That's when millions of dollars were spent restoring hundreds of Art Deco buildings. Among the area's classic hotels returned to their former glory, the Cavalier, the Leslie, and the Marlin with its unique Caribbean decor. Another refurbished deco delight is the rally, with classy lines and a pool that looks like something out of the 20s. As for decor, it's what they call minimalist chic. Miami has a taste all of its own. It's made up of flavors as exciting and different as the people who live here. That fantastic blend comes from mixing Cuban, Caribbean, and South American cuisines. Add celebrity restaurants such as Gloria and Emilio Estefan's place, and you're looking at a whole lot of great names in one chic neighborhood. As the party people of South Beach say, eat well and prosper. And with so many taste sensations available, you're expected to pick and choose. Now this is what I call a party town. Hot sounds, cool people, and really funky hangouts for those over 21. Which I'm not. To the rescue, our pal Jason. He took Lifestyles cameras touring South Beach's funky nightlife. The club scene goes on until like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, and it happens at dozens of clubs throughout Miami. And everybody goes from club to club, and people you see at one place start to see at another place, and it's like a little traveling show that just happens every night. Pick a club, any club, and I guarantee you won't forget a night out in South Beach. To me, it's fun at its finest, and all you gotta do is put on your dancing shoes. Now you know why Miami is my kind of town. Luck be a lady tonight. In the mighty casinos of Las Vegas, the expression, you've gotta pay to play, doesn't always apply. So welcome are big-time players to the blackjack and baccarat tables and to the roulette wheel that out-of-this-world accommodations are provided absolutely free of charge. Our exclusive tour of the best of these high roller suites begins at the $375 million crown jewel in the Circus Circus Empire. Atop the 30-story Luxor is a 40 billion foot candle beacon that shines 10 miles into outer space.
At the peak of the world's largest atrium sits the presidential suite. At a cost of half a million dollars, it would make King Tut feel right at home on the River Nile. Spanning 3,200 square feet, its palatial pinnacle eclipses the Luxor's other 5,000 rooms as the private playground of few, the privileged, the loaded. Despite its grand size, the president of Circus Circus says service remains the premier consideration. The more rooms you do, the harder it is to bring that service to the customer to make sense out of it. So you have to be, become fairly cunning and clever in how you organize and design what you build to make sure that you achieve the highest level of service and excitement that you can build into that property. And that's just for starters when it comes to rolling out the red carpet for high rollers. Nearly twice the size of the Luxor penthouse, a 6,000 square foot, two-story dream suite commands the 29th floor of the MGM Grand. The invitation-only penthouse perch is designed to accommodate royalty and heads of state alike. It boasts 21 telephones, so reach out and touch someone. A private elevator to the gaming tables, four bathrooms, a full-size dining room, and even a private kitchen with a chef on call round the clock. MGM Grand opened its doors in 1993 at a total cost of a billion dollars. Yet such an astronomical sum is a sure bet, according to the company's president. I think in Las Vegas, Nevada, in 1994, it is probably the... the least risky investment I can think of. And if you think you've seen everything, hold on to your hat. We're taking you to another High Rollers penthouse that stands as the ultimate example of luxury, Vegas style. Location, the 24th floor of Caesar's Palace. Size, 12 and a half thousand square feet. That's a quarter the size of a football field. Everyone's treated VIP style at Caesars Palace, yet none more than the high rollers. That's right. Big-time players get the red carpet rolled out. And as I discovered, they also get the key to the world's most incredible luxury suites. They're like no other on the face of the planet. The Italian marble entryway cost a cool one and a half million dollars alone. And that's just a drop in the money, no object bucket. The Renaissance extravaganza is truly fit for an emperor, complete with a hot tub of Pompeian proportion, a lap pool, even a private rooftop putting green. With its breathtaking panorama of the city, the Supreme Suite even comes with its own private elevator. Giving the keys to high rollers may seem a heck of a way to say welcome, but big spenders are so hard to impress. So the president of Caesar's Palace figures that it makes sense to offer them something that has no price tag. It is so priceless there is no rental rate. <laughs> when you take a look as to how many billionaires are in the world today versus uh, what we had 10 years ago and what is expected in the next decade, there is truly room for even more products such as the suites and penthouses that we're in. The cost to build the Caesars Palace penthouse, $12 million. For the high rollers of Vegas, it really is a case of winner takes all. Next, the five-star surprise that awaits hungry guests at the poshest hotel in Paris. Mayim Bialik discovers a real-life Brigadoon in the land that time forgot. Caribbean castaway Richard Grieco's Island in the Sun. For the Hollywood hunk, it's paradise found. Plus, Mexico's super resort, where the stars unwind for a great cause. It's Designer Sportswear Week at Ross. I love it. I love it. You got it at Ross. Really? Yes. Look at this. Are you look at this. Suede. Expensive. Fitting on at Ross. Just arrived, our biggest collection of designer sportswear ever. Labels you won't believe, all at savings of 40 to 70 percent. I love it. I got it at Ross. Don't miss Designer Sportswear Week at Ross. Save 40 to 70%. I love it. To have a dream, but never the chance to achieve it. That is perhaps the greatest tragedy in life. 
United Negro College Fund exists to bring the dreams of thousands of young people within reach. Hands that yearn to touch lives. We train to heal, to teach, to bless. We encourage souls that hear music to write symphonies and sing anthems. And to those once bound by poverty, we present a wealth of possibilities. When you support the United Negro College Fund, you give more than money. You give dreams that may have died the power to live. Support the United Negro College Fund. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. It's been almost 14 years. Nearly 4,000 mornings. Dozens of snowstorms. Millions of showers. Plus, countless cups of coffee, scrambled eggs, and scrambled roads. But one morning newscast gets you through all of it, every weekday at 5.30. With Tom LeMaine's Franklin Institute forecast 13 times every morning, John Valerio's traffic cam reports every 15 minutes, and Brandon Brooks' 21 years of news experience. Together on News 3, we'll always bring you two things. And a smile you can count on. KYW News 3 this morning with Pat Shiraki. Coverage you can count on. Sunday nights on CBS begin at 7 with 60 Minutes. Stay tuned for Mystery and Drama beginning at 8 with Murder, She Wrote. And the CBS Sunday movie Only the Lonely starring John Candy at 9. Tonight on KYW 3. The City of Light, Love and Luxury has a new sparkle. The lovingly renovated luxury hideaway. The Park Victor Hugo is winning raves as a chic hotel containing a restaurant that's superb. Located in the shadow of the Eiffel Tower on Avenue Raymond Poncaire, it hosts the world's number one rated restaurant, the fabled Joel Rubichon. Now that's reason enough to make reservations. But the hotel is also somewhat unique. Forget everything you've heard about the French being a tad standoffish. General Manager Francoise Dallahay isn't like that at all. He learned the art of service with a smile on the other side of the channel, working for certain English blue bloods who wouldn't tolerate a whiff of Gallic surliness. I am using my experience when I was butler for the Duke of Westminster, where I had the chance to serve even the Queen, to make all my staff aware of the importance of services. They don't even know how to say no. We, oui. with five concierges on duty at all times, it's an oasis of civility that in anyone's currency is the best that money can buy. We spend 20 million US dollar of renovation to make it absolutely, as you said, tip-top. The concept is a demeure hotel. Demeure in French means uh, mansion. Uh, we want the guests to feel like if they were in their own mansion. That's not hard to do, considering the hotel was converted from seven separate mansions. Its 122 rooms and 17 suites are Anglo-inspired, courtesy of England's former royal designer, Nina Campbell. The kind of size of room and uh, the color of the tapestry and the color of the wallpaper and everything is all different one from each other. A cost of three to five hundred dollars a night should pale into insignificance when you consider that even the furniture has a regal flair. David Lindley is the nephew of the Queen, the Queen of England, and uh, the son of Princess Margaret. And he's um, a woodworker and he did the tables in the hotel and also some lamps for us. Uh, so we have a royal touch. Ah, but it's the famed restaurant that attracts gourmets from the four corners of the earth. Costing an additional $5 million, it was built to the exact specifications of its namesake owner and master chef. As for the three-month waiting list for reservations, devotees say, qu'est-ce que c'est, We have a very long waiting list for this restaurant. We have um, 
45 seats for the guests and we have 45 persons to serve them. One of the reasons customers are happy to pay as much as $500 for a meal is that they can be assured of one thing. The gastronomic genius in the kitchen is indeed looking out for them. Mr. Robuchon is very, very particular. So he installed some small camera in the dining room where he can see from the kitchen upstairs where uh, when can he cook the next dishes for the guests. So that's make the kitchen look like a, a, a computer shop. Uh, the most popular uh, meals are mainly the dishes with lobster. World's best dining in a top hotel. Little wonder this Parisian palace is rated formidable. If a guest arrived to the hotel, we would make a point to make sure that he would remember his stay and the guest would try to remember the Park Victor Hugo as a very special hotel. The ancient land of limericks and leprechauns is a long way from Hollywood's studios and sound stages. Little wonder Mayim Bialik's castmates on the television series Blossom turned 40 shades of green when she took off for some Irish R&R. &R. First stop, Killarney in County Kerry, a real-life brigadoon located just 180 miles southwest of Dublin. Coming from America, this is just so exquisite, the country and the fact that everything is green. It's so refreshing, you know, to actually see country like that, especially because I come from a city. The land where time stands still hides such luxury accommodations as a grand old country manor on the River Sheen. After checking in with her parents, Mayam checked out the five-star hotel. Sheen Falls Lodge is, um, well, something you see in tour books. There's a running waterfall. I mean, it's like a painting, basically. And it's green all around, and there's everything that you could really want within walking distance. A novelty for any urbanite, hiking through the fields and glens gave Mayam time to reflect on time itself. One of the fabulous things about Ireland is that there's history everywhere, but all around it looks like the wilderness, and it's just really something that's just beautiful just to look at and appreciate. Giving true meaning to horsepower, a Kalani cab took Mayam deeper still into the Celtic past. I guess the traditional Irish thing to do is we took a ride in the, uh, the jaunty car. You know, the seats are sort of sideways, and the, the driver just sits up there, and he's very proper, and he's got his horse. And it was just fun to be able to, to ride an old transportation and actually have a horse pulling you along your way. Muckras House is a huge historical site. It's a turn-of-the-century farm that is completely self-sufficient. There were all sorts of crafts the day that we were there, and we went into the basement and saw how they really make fabric on the loom, and I got to try it a little. I met Joan Collins. Not the Joan Collins, but a different Joan Collins. And she showed me um, how they used to churn butter the real way. She showed me how they roll the butter in, in different shapes and just like the hotels do it, but she did it by hand. You can make little That's great. round balls with them. They're very yeah. cute. Ireland's rolling landscape is a gentle reminder of a time when life was savored and not rushed. In a sleepy Killarney town that refuses to move at anything but its own pace, Mayam and her parents got into the rhythm of Main Street. The closest I got to civilization on my trip was uh, this small town of Kenmare, which is a, a beautiful, quaint little town, and the buildings are just all lined up so sweetly, and every, every building's a different store. For weary shoppers, the lodge is a home away from home with its own version of the sweet life. I tend to travel a lot, and um, this hotel has just this incredible suite that, that I was staying in, and, you know, from the bathroom to the terrace, it's just, it's amazing. I guess the name of the lodge, Sheen Falls Lodge, is very appropriate because wherever you go, <laughs> the falls are there. I love to horseback ride, and um, usually I do so with my father. And even on our horseback ride, there was a, a bridge which went over <laughs> the falls. And it was just nice to have a different riding experience, especially in a different country where there's so much open land where you can just kind of let go. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no.
The Shing River Challenge is the real thing, where visitors find out if they possess the luck of the Irish. Right alongside the lodge, I met Michael, who I didn't know, they call the Gilly, and he's, I guess, the local fisherman. And although we didn't catch anything, it was a lot of fun to wear the pants and have the jacket on and see what he does when he has to catch dinner. The lodge serves only the freshest food, right down to the herbs from its own garden. Mayam's pick was destined for the gourmet kitchen, where Chef Fergus Moore's specialties are the pride of Le Cascade restaurant. Fergus served up a wonderful dinner, and I guess this was the first time in my life that I saw them prepare my food, and then I got to eat it. You know, from the appetizer to the main course to the dessert, it was really just, you know, an experience. Sheen River Lodge hit all the right notes for the first-time visitor to Ireland. Mayim took back to Hollywood, vacation stories to tell the gang on Blossom, and so much more. With her went magic memories of someone lucky enough to have caught the elusive soul of the Emerald Isle. Coming right up, the Caribbean hideaway where Hollywood goes to unwind. Richard Grieco explores sun-kissed St. Lucia. Lovebirds Ted and Mary host an all-star party at a south-of-the-border super resort. Plus, high-speed thrills as Joey Lawrence takes his R&R Aloha style. channels. I call it better protection. They're this smart idea on always with wings, and they're pretty amazing. Channels that form a barrier of protection at the edges, so even when I move, they help keep moisture in the center, so the sides get better protection, while the dry weave helps keep the surface drier. They call them channels. I call it just plain smart. It protects me better than any regular maxi I've tried. New always with channels. It's cleaner, it's drier, now it protects even better. As you know, Kellogg's is the raisin brand that tastes so good, people forget it's good for them. I didn't forget. Forget what? That it tastes good. No. Oh. People forget Kellogg's raisin brand is good for you. How could they forget? With all these raisins, of course they taste good. No. Good for you. For you. Wouldn't it be great if it was also good for you? Mmm. Mm. Huh? Uh -huh. Now buy one two-scoop Sunday at Baskin Robbins, get another one free with a coupon from Kellogg's Two Scoops Raisin Brand, of course. See package for details. Well, we're here with Wanda and Babs, who feel that their zipper bag is fine and will not switch to Gladlock zipper bags. That's right. Ditto. Now, uh, Babbo, uh, let's say you hold some of your famous chicken gravy upside down over Wanda's head, sealed in either your bag or the Gladlock bag with the yellow and blue make green seal, so you know the bag is closed. Your bag doesn't have a green seal. Well, I say let's go for it with our bag. Why switch? Because it's my head. We'll switch to Gladlock. Good call, Wanda. When it really counts, get Gladlock. Hollywood heartthrob Richard Grieco knows that time out is the antidote to burnout. I just really wanted to go to some place where, where it was really remote, just kind of collect my thoughts again, and this is the perfect place. Richard's runaway destination was the sun-splashed island of St. Lucia in the West Indies. There, he checked into the Jalousi Plantation, a deluxe resort and spa where the weary wealthy come to unwind. It's 
Built by Britain's Lord Glen Connor on a former sugar and coconut plantation, the resort comprises 115 guest cottages, strategically distanced from each other to give a feeling of utter privacy. Classy, exclusive and very laid back, Jalousie Plantation was the perfect place for Richard to put Hollywood on hold and chill out in style. When I'm on vacation, which I, I go a lot by myself, I mean, I have to go out and meet people and just see what's going on. Walk down the beach and uh, let this girl Diane. I asked her if she wanted to go kayaking. Well, I asked her if she ever did before, and she didn't. So it was a little awkward at the beginning, but uh, we kind of got the rhythm after that. That was cool. That was fun. I never knew they went so fast. Venturing even further out to sea, Richard and his traveling companion, Mark Spiro, set out to reel in the catch of the day. I love the deep sea fish, and then the, one of the reasons is, is that you never know what's under there. Think about it, you, know, you could catch like the biggest marlin in the history of the planet. It's just a lot of fun. I just love it. The big one might have gotten away, but the salty seaman made up for it with a minor victory on a major sized chessboard back at the resort. Clean check. Good. This Their next move was into town. The town of Sofria was really interesting. I guess it kind of depicts the culture, you know, and it's most uncovered. It's just uh, there's no one else there, just the people. There's no real tourists. Um, and they're going on doing their daily routines and stuff, and there's nice little shops and, and carvings and, and, and weird pottery. And uh, I, I thought the town was really fascinating. Won't you come and lay your body down? The gentle rhythm of the Caribbean was enough to inspire them to seek the big score. You come up with a lot of different verses and lyrics and hooks and choruses and, and music and sounds from the island. For Richard, the lyrics hardly did justice to the pampering that awaited back at the resort, courtesy of Jalousie Plantation's in-house masseuse. Come sundown, the Dream Resort's four restaurants become romantic rendezvous for guests who also like their fun après sun. Take island fresh cuisine expertly prepared by gourmet chefs, add a little reggae, and a whole lot of ambience, and dinner is really something to sing about. Though the Caribbean hideaway is just a short four-hour flight from New York, it was a world away for Richard Greco. It's the perfect setting, the solitude of it, and just the, the warm air and uh, tranquility. This, this peace is just kind of uh, soothing for the mind. Uh, it kind of opens me up mentally. Exotic St. Lucia, just what the doctor ordered. Next, the Mexican Riviera hosts the stars at play. Join the fun as Hollywood's heroes compete in their own sports tournament to raise charity dollars for a great cause. Plus, a Hawaiian super resort becomes the personal playground of Joey Lawrence and his brothers. Get ready for action as the trio takes on the pineapple paradise. Promotional consideration provided by... New Chapstick Ultra. It glides on smoothly and protects your lips from the wind and the sun's harmful rays. It's Ultra Lip Protection. allergies, sinus pains not far behind. My allergist says there's something new. Dimatap Allergy Sinus. Not only works on sinus pressure, it has an antihistamine that makes me less drowsy than Benadryl. What a relief. Doctors say Dimatap for good reason. You can have one serving of cereal. Okay. What's it gonna be? Quaker 100% natural? I want more. That's it? Or maybe total? I'm kinda hungry, okay? How about Nabisco shredded wheat? Oh, this is a lot. Wow. 80 calories each biscuit. No added salt or sugar. 
and it's naturally 98% fat-free. I'll take it. Nabisco shredded wheat. It's just naturally good. Americans are more confused about what to eat. More confused about cholesterol. About saturated fat. About what to eat. What to eat. Remember when life was simple? All you had to worry about was three square meals a day, and you knew what to eat just by the way it tasted. Well, we've made it simple again with Promise Spread. It has less of what you don't want and now more of what you do. A new, creamy, fresh taste. So make life simple for yourself. Get Promise and get smart. You know, no matter how many times I take a carnival cruise, I never get bored. I always get excited about the fabulous food. The islands are endlessly fascinating, and the shows are always a thrill. The pleasures of a carnival cruise just never get old. That's right, Kathy. This cruise makes me feel 10 years younger. Betty? Okay. Plenty. Take a three, four, or seven-day vacation on Carnival, the most popular cruise line in the world. I haven't had this much fun in decades. You know, these Tostitos are baked. Get out of here. Really? But so tasty. Oh, I had this party, and I told everyone that baked Tostitos are low in fat, but nobody believed me. Wow. wow. <laughs> you baked Tostitos have only one gram of fat per serving, but they don't taste it. These are baked? Mm -hmm. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here. Really, they're baked? No, really. Get out of here. New baked Tostitos tortilla chips and fat-free salsa. Prepare to party. Hollywood's party hardy crowd just two hours to jet from Los Angeles to Cabo San Lucas, located on the tip of Mexico's Baja Peninsula. They came for a celebrity sports spectacular to benefit a local children's charity and Ted Danson's American Oceans campaign. One look at the sparkling blue ocean tells you why the stars are solidly behind his unique environmental crusade. He says keeping our seas unpolluted isn't an option. It's a matter of survival. If you want to look at the health of the planet, look at the coastal waters. Because everything man does on land ends up getting flushed into the coastal waters. The event also raised money for Amicos de los Ninos, a children's charity that's especially close to Scott Glenn and wife Carol, who live in Cabo. You know, it just feels like we're like helping out neighbors. The stars headquartered at Cabo's newest super deluxe resort, the award-winning Western Regina. The 250-room palace artfully coexists with the surrounding countryside through color and texture drawn from nature. From gentle terracotta curves reaching out to embrace one of the world's best beaches to fantastic aquatics. Its award-winning design bedazzled first-time visitor Cynthia Geary from Television's Northern Exposure. It's spectacular. The pools are beautiful and the weather has been awesome. Given the surroundings, had someone not said let the games begin, we might all have chilled out like Ted and Mary Steenburgen. <laughs> Only hair care mogul John Paul DeJoria had it made in the shade. champions were Team Padron, led by Baywatch heartthrob David Chavez. We get a papaya. And a challenge. Whizzing along the beach in an all-terrain Hummer is one thing. Negotiating the local terrain is altogether something else. Or for such fairway hotshots as Joanna Kearns and Jason Priestley, sweet victory. It's in the hole! It's in the hole! Priestley! Priestley contributes, as it should be. As it should be. In the spirit of protecting the ocean, Lorenzo Lamas led an all star cast in air fishing. Back 
back on shore, celebrities were limbering up for even tougher events, namely the Dip and Sip Marathon and the Chaise Lounge Duet, led by Lovebirds Ted and Mary. <laughs> Sunset heralded the real reason for being in Los Cabos. To make nice for the cameras, of course, but also to generate mega bucks at auction for the twin charities. As always, auctioneer extraordinaire Marjo Gortner got the stars to dig deep into their pockets. 5,000 twice sold it and make the journey for $5,000. Local Kids and Ted's Oceans campaign benefited to the tune of $200,000. And where's the wonder, considering that a date with Dr. Ruth went to the highest bidder? Uh, he said yes, $5,000. The fun didn't overshadow the message of the night. That was underscored by event co-host Kenny Loggins, who reminded everyone that the fight to clean up the oceans won't be won in a weekend. Directly ahead, the action is wet and wild as a Hollywood hunk takes his brothers on a party-hardy vacation to Hawaii. Hey, I'm Joey Lawrence. This is Matt. This is Andy. We're hanging out here in Maui at the Kiwani Beach Resort. And stay tuned for a lot more fun. We're coming right at you. Hang loose. <laughs> Limousine service provided by Music Express. Worldwide service for 20 years. Oh. without him. First, look for someone smart. Then just bring him along. Maybe buy him some sneakers. <laughs> He'll do anything for you. Be a lookout. Hold your stash. So what if he gets caught? As long as it's not me. I'll just get me another one. Projects full of kids. Now that you know what a drug dealer thinks of you, what do you think of him? We should talk. CBS is now here on KYW3. Reset your VCR to Channel 3. Hello, KYW. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I just took a dip in the Schuylkill River, and boy, do I feel refreshed. I am not faking this accent. I'm still on at 11. You're gonna love it. Any questions? Call us at 1-800-KYW-IS-CBS or check the TV page in your local paper. It's The Lake Show on KYW. It's like a cheesesteak for your brain. Right now, somewhere. A mother is fighting to help her kids beat the odds. Right now, somewhere. One of Hollywood's most celebrated relationships is about to explode. Right now, somewhere. A dangerous new treatment is promising wrinkle-free skin. And right now, there's a new TV show, Day and Date. The most provocative, compelling stories on television. Join Dana King, Patrick Van Horn, and Dr. Nancy Snyderman for Day and Date. It's live with the latest. Premieres Monday at 4. The Pineapple Paradise has long been a vacation destination for stars seeking fun in the sun. So when Joey Lawrence takes time out from the television sitcom Blossom, he and the whole family make tracks for Hawaii's second largest island, Magical Maui. We just come here to just chill out and relax. It's a great time where we can think about ourselves as people and not worry about anything. Named after a Polynesian demigod, Maui's lifestyle is said by locals to be noka oi, meaning okay in every way. Spanning lush fields of sugarcane, cascading mountain vistas, and sapphire seascapes, the island is a dazzling visual extravaganza. 
Bruce's stay at Maui's five-star resort in the town of Wailea. First to arrive at the super deluxe Kialani are Joey, younger brothers Matthew, and Andy. Commanding 22 oceanfront acres, Kialani is laid-back luxury with legendary Hawaiian hospitality. Guests are treated as if they were direct descendants of the ancient King Kamehameha. And as regulars at the resort, the Lawrence boys get a VIP welcome from the manager. Hey, guys, welcome back to the Kailani. Hey, Tom, thanks doing? so Aloha. much. Thanks so much. How are you? It's our favorite place in the entire world. They're all suites here in the, in the hotel, right? 413 suites. With over 400 suites with breathtaking views, the Kealani is an oasis of luxury in a jungle of bamboo and exotic flowers. Before the rest of the Lawrences arrived, the boys were anxious to cool off in one of the resort's 40, you heard it, 40 swimming pools. 40 other swimming pools. But the grand tour continued, so there was only time to unpack and get comfortable in the Kialani's premier accommodations, special three-bedroom family villas. Self-contained and private, they were just perfect for the three generations of Lawrences. There were Joey's grandparents, his mom and dad, plus those two younger brothers. And if Matthew and Andy look familiar, they should. Matt found big screen fame in Mrs. Doubtfire, while television sitcoms have already given little Andy his own taste for stardom. If the Lawrences had their way, the Kialani would be awarded another star for excellence. This hotel offered a private beach, it had the villas, which was nowhere, nowhere else on the island had that. I mean, it's the ideal place. The last time we came here, we literally spent five days here and didn't leave. Isn't this fun, folks? Oh, the water slide's a blast. And you got your own pool, I mean, right out front, you know, and um, the beach is 50 feet further, and it's just, I mean, it's the ideal place. The thing that I like about this particular place is that it's a private beach, so only the people staying at the hotel can be there, and for somebody who really wants to get away, and, you know, in my case, I mean, uh, I'm around so many people all the time that to be here in a real private, secluded place, but yet where there's still people is just like the perfect combination of those two things. So it's, it's a blast. Word soon spread that a celebrity was in residence. Before long, Joey was discovered. The brothers took the local saying, eat, drink, and be Maui to heart. Just keeping up with them gave whole new meaning to the Hawaiian expression, hang loose. 30 minutes down the road, there was a town called Lahaina, and it had action. I think any time you had a red convertible with music blasting, you got, like, beautiful women walking along the sides of the car, you just start to feel good, you know? It's like, hey, <laughs> it's happening. Though Front Street Lahaina had its own special attractions, the trio had something more exotic and exciting in mind. What they found at the beach turned out to be a vacation highlight. The trip has been filled with, like, adrenaline rushers. Oh, the wave runners, they were like... Fun. We were doing 360s by the end there. Just... Those yeah. things go 45 miles an hour. Those things are like little water rockets. Awesome. They're incredible. That was awesome. And it only got better. Scared you are so high. <laughs> it is incredible. I mean, and you're just looking down on the uh, mountain, so the whole mountain was like emerald green, and then you, you know the, you had this aqua blue water, and then you have the tan sand beaches, and it's just I mean, it's incredible. Between sailing and snorkeling till dusk and dining till dawn, the Lawrence brothers took Maui for all it had to offer. took back to Los Angeles, memories of some primo R&R &R and the promise, same time next year. You know, the sun was shining, the waves rolling in, the breeze was blowing, it was great. I had minor surgery about three months ago. The same operation as my neighbor Herb had. You wouldn't believe the hospital bills he had to pay, even with his Medicare supplement. So the first thing I did was to call my health plan, Aetna Senior Choice. Yes, Mr. Andrews, you're covered for 100% of your hospital charges. Now that made me feel a lot better. Hey, I wasn't looking forward to surgery, but at least I knew what it was gonna cost me. Nothing, except a few dollars for the first visit to my doctor and the surgeon. Aetna Senior Choice enhances your Medicare coverage. There's no plan premium, no deductible, and you pay just a few dollars for each doctor visit. 
It's that simple. Call 1-800-567-6565 to find out more about Aetna Senior Choice. Call now and get this guide to Medicare free. That's 1-800-567-6565. Senior Choice is the right choice. Aetna Senior Choice. Let's work together for your health. When my mother died of breast cancer, I felt powerless. detection is important and I can do something every day too. Simpson. Now there might finally be someone else to point the finger at. Celebrity lookalikes caught in scandal. Look at these mannerisms. They're just like OJ. On the next morning. Monday at 9 on KYW3. These cheating husbands. I thought we had something. Made their mistresses mothers. I wasn't losing nothing. I wasn't cheating on anyone. And boy, are their wives mad. Next Sally. Monday at 10 on KYW3. On the next Lifestyles, Jerry Hall on Mick Jagger. The original supermodel reveals secrets of a rock and roll marriage. Baywatch Beauty, Alexander Paul's Red Sea Riviera Romance. The blockbuster interview Larry King's Just Gotta Get. Barry White does the wild thing on an exotic African safari. Plus, an intimate tour of America's largest privately owned home. Witness what love and a whole lot of money can buy. All on the next Lifestyles. Don't miss it. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sherry Villafonte in Los Angeles. From New York, I'm Robin Leach with those champagne wishes and caviar dreams. Thank you for joining us. We all look forward to being with you on the next All-Star Lifestyles. Promotional consideration provided by... Introducing the secret to roasted in taste. New Lipton recipe secrets for potatoes. Available in the breadcrumb coating section. This is Jurgen's body shampoo, and this is the sponge. Just a little squeeze. There's so much lather. It tingles. It feels fantastic. Jurgen's body shampoo. In a taste test of high fiber cereals, the uniquely light and crispy taste of Fiber One was preferred over these other leading brands. Fiber One, the one that tastes better. Belafonte's wardrobe provided by Watney and Gothex. Robin Leach's wardrobe by David Rickey. Designers and providers of custom wardrobes for men. Connects, creative construction sets for kids from 5 to 105. Affordable, color-coded, building fun. If you can imagine it, you can build it with Connects. It's Designer Sportswear Week at Ross. I love it. I love it. How did it Ross? Really? Yes. Look at this. You look incredible. Suede. Expensive. But not at Ross. Just arrived our biggest collection of designer sportswear ever. Labels you won't believe. All at savings of 40 to 70%. I love it. 
I love it. I got it. I got it at Ross. Don't miss Designer Sportswear Week at Ross. Save 40 to 70%. I love it. Waiting for the ultimate chicken finger food? Try new Colonel's Crispy Strips from KFC. Juicy, all-white meat chicken. Freshly prepared with our special extra tasty crispy recipe. New Colonel's Crispy Strips are good enough to be a meal, so eat them with a knife and fork, if you can wait that long. Everybody needs a little KFC. And for a mealtime treat, bring home three Colonel's Crispy Strips, mashed potatoes and gravy, coleslaw and a biscuit, all for just $2.99. Lou Tilly's Sports, tonight on KYW News 3.